morning, lads and lassies. And welcome back to a glorious day here at the lake. And today we're gonna to talk about seven easy tricks you can do on a wakeboard. Now, obviously easy can be up for interpretation, but I'm saying if you're at a good beginner level, tricks you can try, things that can help you improve. And we're also gonna talk about how to kind of do them a little bit. So first up, and this is one of the most important things you can learn wakeboarding, is to learn how to wakeboard switch. you are the better it is to learn this so the earlier you learn it in your wakeboard career the better so the easiest thing to do is to slow the boat down a little bit then cut out to one side and what you want to do is you want to put a bit of weight on your heels lift your hip back up to the handle slowly begin to switch and then as you come out of it look to the far shore and there you go so that is trick number one Then it's also really important to actually ride, switch, feel it out. It's gonna be immensely unnatural, but I promise it will help drastically. Trick number two is a heel side weight to wake. And I'm actually gonna put a link on the top right hand corner of the screen for you to kind of understand and really go through that in depth. But long story short, you might wanna shorten your rope maybe five feet to learn it cut out nice and wide on your toes, begin a progressive edge, getting stronger, stronger, stronger. As you get to the wake, stand up tall, push down on the handle, keep your head up, and then when you land, bend your knees. And there you go, that's effectively it in a nutshell. Trick number three, it kind of is similar to that wake to wake, although you can do this one wake. And what that is, is a heel side grab. So you get up in the air, you want to grab the board. So what grab is easiest? Well, typically speaking, the indie grab is the easiest. So how this works is the boat's going this way, you're right foot forward, you come in, and the big thing that happens is people try and bend down for the grab too soon. So you want to get up in the air. Then once you're in the air and you're sure that it's a good jump, you want to suck your knees up to you it's important to not drop your chest down to it so you want to suck your knees up to you try and grab it but if you can't grab it you can grab your leg your binding and then work your way down to the actual board and that is trick number three <laughs> trick number four nobody likes a heel side hero what i mean by that is a lot of us tend to go out and just learn heel side tricks because quite frankly it's easier now a big tip is to always work on your toe side so for example when you do a heel side weight jump naturally you're gonna have to come back across the wake but instead of crossing it try and put a bit of energy into actually doing a bit of a jump now i'm not looking for you to do a toe side weight to weight because that is actually a very difficult and quite technical trick but i'm just suggesting doing a little jump big tip there is put more weight on your front foot than you would actually think is right so you're gonna be thinking nah this is too much weight on my front foot but I promise that's probably still not even enough get the handle nice and down low and as you take off just remember to stand tall and almost push the handle down into your back pocket and that's gonna keep you nice and controlled trick number five is actually a result of trick number four. So you've just learned a nice small little toe side jump and you wanna take that to the next level, toe side 180. In my opinion, it's one of the easiest 180s to learn. And the reason for that is because when you land, you're landing and you're kind of facing the boat, it's quite comfortable landing. So how you do it? Same thing, you wanna come into the wake, a lot of weight on your front foot, you wanna stand tall, push down. Then once you're in the air, now that's key, you gotta get up and then spin. So once you're in the air, it feels good, just pull your hip up like you did on the switch, bring it around, and you can actually keep looking into the boat on this one and bend your knees on the landing. And if you're switch riding, if you've practiced it enough and it is kind of very comfortable, you should have no problems with this. Trick number six is a switch weight jump. Now, I spoke about it earlier, I think it was trick number two, is practicing switch. That is so, so fundamental to getting good at wakeboarding, particularly as you progress more and more in the future. But you really need to be able to ride and jump a little bit switch. So much like when you learned the original jump on a wake, it's the very same as that. So start nice and close to the wake and just try and do a little pop. It's gonna feel really unnatural and a big tip is people tend to ride with their shoulders very open switch. Make sure to try and put your shoulders 
parallel to the board. That will help avoiding some face plants. And last but not least, trick number seven. So we're gonna put all the little bits we've just been learning and put it into what is also one of the easiest 180s. And it's called a half cab. The reason it's called that is it's half of a caballerial, which was invented by skateboarder Steve Caballerial. Caballeri, um, yeah. And basically what he did was that was a switch 360. So that is effectively what it is. So you're doing a half cab, which is half of a 360. So what you do for this is you implement everything you just learned on trick number seven with doing the switch weight jump. And basically you wanna go up, you wanna get in the air, and just like the toe so and you wanna wait until you're in the air. Then as you satisfied, I'm high, I've got time, you wanna pull your back hip up to the handle, take that hand off, look to the far shore and bend your knees. And this is actually quite easy because you're landing with your good foot forward so you'll be a lot more comfortable. So there you have it, a nutshell. Those are seven easy tricks you can learn on the wakeboard. Obviously some of them will be a lot easier for some people than it is for others. And obviously there are seven other easy tricks that you could learn, but these are kind of the first seven that come to mind when I'm coaching people that I always try and get them to learn. And not necessarily in any particular order, but definitely if you learn in that order, it will help. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please make sure to subscribe, like it, and let me know what tricks you're working on at the moment, and I can try and help by maybe doing some tutorials on them. But for now, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.